What is strength training? In this lecture, we have a look at number one, what is strength training and at common misconceptions and definitions of strength training. So what are we going to cover in this lecture? We look at examples of strength training. We look at misconceptions and definitions and then the practical application for our training practice, our strength training practice. So what is strength? Let's start with an introduction and a definition to strength. When we think about strength, we most often think about something what we can see here. So if we go from the top left, we can see a power lifter lifting 500 kilos off the ground in a deadlift. Yeah, so that could be an expression of strength. But then if we look at the top right, we see an Olympic weightlifter, Lasha Talakatze. He lifts more than 200 kilos explosively over his head. Then if we go to the middle left, we see a bodybuilder, Jay Cutler here. Big muscles, often that is also considered to be some form of strength. And if we go middle right, we see calisthenics has taken the world by storm in the last years. And that is actually dominating your body weight and doing amazing feats of strength with your body weight. It's also an expression of strength. On the top left, an Olympic gymnast. That is also an expression of strength. And on the bottom right, often underestimated, but if you think about here, this athlete propelling his in her, her own body weight into the air, that also requires some form of strength. So then where do we start? What is strength? Where do we start? Let's ask Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton sat in his garden and reportedly an apple fell onto his head. Where do I want to go with, it, with this one? Let me outline. So an apple fell onto his head and so Isaac Newton concluded for that apple to fall down, there must be a force acting on that apple, which we know as gravity. And force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. So a definition of strength could be, strength is the ability to exert force in order to overcome resistance. Here we have it again, strength, exerting force, overcoming resistance. And in my previous mini course on training principles, I outlined one of the most fundamental training principles, the principle of progressive overload. And there we looked at strength is force, mul excuse me, strength is force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. So here we have it, F equals M multiplied by A, and force is measured in newtons, mass in kilograms, and acceleration in meters per second square. So what is strength training? Let's look at some misconceptions and definitions. So if we look at examples of strength training, very often we can find something like this. Yep. That was too quick. So here we have examples of strength training. I've taken the same athlete, 2021 Olympic champion, Ni Kiman, performing different forms of exercises. So let's go from the top left to the top right and then bottom left to bottom right. So what can we see? Top left, a split squat, a Bulgarian split squat on unstable surface. Yeah? Then the next one is working with mini bands. Then we see free weights lifted explosively overhead. Then the next one is free weights, but this time a back squat. And then we can see body weight with suspension training, in this case and TRX. Then the next one on the bottom left, we can see a pull up with body weight that could also be loaded. And the next one is we see machine training. And then we see training with a resistant band, but now it's assisted. And we have another stability exercise on unstable surface. And then we have training with cables. So all of these are examples of strength training. What can we make out of that information? The answer is found in, I outlined that in another previous mini course on training methods, where we looked at a definition of training methods. And here we can find the answer. There are different training modes. And a training mode is a type of equipment that you can choose for your training. And it's very important, you need to know which form of equipment to use in order to achieve the goal you want to achieve. So what is strength training then? 
As a recap, we said strength is the ability to exert force in order to overcome resistance. And we looked at the formula of force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. And in conclusion, we can say strength training trains the ability to exert force in order to overcome resistance. So strength training, exerting force in order to overcome resistance. So what is the practical application? Here again, we have 2021 Olympic champion Nicky Mann performing a squat. And if we think of force equals mass multiplied by acceleration, we can say there has to be a force produced to get from that bottom position of the back squat back into the end position. And for that, there is mass applied to the bar and acceleration. So the main takeaway here, and this is important for the next lectures as well, force output is dependent on two variables, and that is mass and acceleration. Yeah, so important here for our strength training practice. It's not only how much weight is on the bar, it's also how much acceleration is applied to the bar or to the training equipment. So with that, what did we cover? Now you know what strength is, the ability to exert force in order to overcome resistance. And we looked at the practice, how can we use this information for our strength training practice. And we had the conclusion, how it looks in the practical application. And we get much more practical in the next sessions when we look at different types of strength. And I see you 